Hey there guys and gals, I'm going to do a um, kind of a short video, but I want to think that would be pretty informative for a lot of people who want to play ASA or are doing solo arc. Um, this will be pretty relevant for, for both. Um, I'll start with uh, a little uh, bonus here I, I decided to add in. If you want to defeat the bosses on the island when ASA comes out. This is really all you need. You need to find a Rex with about this much health. 9,680. It's not the highest it can roll, but it's definitely not the lowest. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good start. Then if you can find you one that has a melee of 355 or better and you combine those into a single dino and then you just have a whole bunch of babies of this dino this is enough imprinted to defeat any boss on the island that's all three alphas and the alpha overseer as well I've, I've done it on official with these exact stats uh, back in 2020 when uh, server 717 first released these were the exact stats on the dinos I had we imprinted them and as a, a server we went and defeated all of the bosses and the overseer before our server unlocked uh, to the public it's pretty amazing um, so there's this. That th this is this is it. This is all you really need. But you know, there's a lot of people who like to have absolute monsters, and they like cleaning up some of these other stats, like food and weight and oxygen and even stamina on dinos that they want to uh, build up higher, and so they can get to higher levels without hitting the cap with wasted stats. And for that, there are level one rexes there are currently two ways that i know of that you can get a level one rex in on official um, but with asa that's going to be one of them is going to be a little bit longer and that's when the servers unlock currently one of the only ways to get one that will be able to get one on asa is on a beginner server uh, beginner servers have level one rexes you can go over there and tame one and beat its efficiency down so it doesn't gain any levels and uh, tame it up and then once the servers unlock you can transfer it to your official server of choice um, the other way is uh, trying to tame any Rexes that you see level 15 or lower because there's a chance that at least one of their stats will be these bare minimum stats. These are the absolute lowest a tamed Rex's stats can be. Um, and it, it, it makes a nice clean slate for mutating. And Yes, yes, you can have a, a male and female uh, to start mutating, but I would not recommend using a level 1 male. Yes, it would be clean. There would be no bad stats and speed or anything like that. N nothing you'd have to worry about, but it would take s probably two years longer to get to the same mutations as everyone else if you just started like this. I'll explain that in a minute. But to give an idea of what mutations look like, see these are level 1. So a single mutation will add two levels to the dinosaur as well as two stat points to a dinosaur. And here we have one, a level 3, it's two levels higher that has a mutation on its stamina. It's 504. 
Stamina gains 42 points per level. Went from 420 to 504 and 2 points. 42 makes 84. 504. And then you can come in here and look. And on its mother's side, it has a single mutation. From here, what you would do is if this were a male, you would you would raise it up, and if you were trying to continue mutating stamina, you would then remove the level one male and replace it with the level three male, and continue breeding with the level one female. That way, her stats always stay clean. And every time you do that and just keep replacing the male, the mutations will move over to the father's side every time so they will continuously stack up on the father's side so that the mother's side will stay clean forever and that that is how you can also get past the 40 mutation limit the 20 on each side if you just continuously replace the males the females will always show zero on their side like, even though this baby right now shows on the mother's side as soon as you get a male version and mate the male with the female that mutation will move to the male's side of, of the ward now what I would suggest instead of it, keeping your level 1 female nice and clean but you don't want to do 30, uh, not 30, not 18 or 19 mutations to get their health up this high. 9,680 is great. You don't want to have to start from 1,100 to go up that high. That's 19 mutations. Not That's at minimum 19 babies that would have to be born and raised, each with a single mutation. And the odds of that would, it would be just astronomical. You would have to have a few hundred females to guarantee a mutation every time that you mate. So the best thing to do is to take your dino that has the highest HP and breed him with your level one female until you have a baby that has all of the females zero stats but claims the males HP and that will look like this because that male has 39 points in HP 9680 and then all of the zero points from the mother plus the level one that it starts at so this is be level 40 and you just saved 19 minimum generations of of mutating and you have a perfectly clean no mutation dino and this would now be your HP base male and and the next thing, you say, well, you know, in between, I, I kind of want to raise Melee, too. But in between this male mating with my the f my females, you know, if, if I do get a male with the mutation I want, say a level 42 male, while that one's growing up, it takes a whole week to grow up, my females are just sitting around. Well, that's when you take and you get a male version that has your melee on it and do the same thing you mate it with your level one female so that you have an hp male and a melee male all the normal stats except for melee they just both happen to have 39 points by the way that's why they're both exactly level 40 um and you see no mutations So now while your mutation from your HP male is growing up, you can be mating your melee with your level 1 females. 
until you get a mutation for it. You know, your next one will be like a, you're looking for a level 42 male that has a mutation on the melee. And then while it's growing up, maybe your HP new baby has grown up and then it replaces and continues. But the, the key thing is you, your females will always be the same. You never change them. The only thing you're ever going to change is the male that you're breeding with them. And you could, at any point, you can combine these and make a dino that you want to take out. Or I mean, if you want to sell dinos, if you want to sell a clean batch, uh, you know, it, people would probably pay a lot for uh, some clean dinos to start with. You know, and if you, if you combine your HP and your melee with the rest of the basic zero stats, you'd get a dino that's level 79. It's 39 in each stat, plus the, the one. Now this one has all of the health, all of the melee, and the rest of them zero stats. Now when I say you can absolutely beat all of the bosses on the art on the island with these basic stats, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, these are the these are the same ones that these are wild dinos here that have all the nasty stats but they have the HP and the melee and here's one that's not clean but has both you know th this this would be just fine you could just breed a bunch of these imprinted and their HP and melee will look like this once they're imprinted that looks much better, doesn't it? 11,616 and 424 at level 79 at 100% imprinted. This is this will make a great dot and these are just from wild tame stats, no mutations. And here's a couple of variations that you could put stats into. Um to kind of give them what you want. Now, you, you're not going to, with this right here, you're not really going to want to ride this Rex with this much stamina. These are the ones that you send in to fight the boss. You know, because stamina doesn't matter if you're not riding it. You know, you could you could actually steal the stamina from from one of these, you know, into that, and it would still be fine if, for, if you're just bossing right now. If you're not mutating, yeah, absolutely use that that stamina for the one that you're going to ride. But now here's a couple of examples of fully imprinted ones and how the stats can look fully leveled. And this has been done with 73 levels, just like on official. Uh, all of my settings on here are, you know, not single player. They're all official settings. So this is what they can look like. At 152, at 73 levels, 20,000 health, 850 melee. Now, I actually used this version to defeat the Alpha Broodmother. Using 20,000 health and 80 armor, between 80 and 83 armor saddles with this much melee, I lost 9 of my... 20 Rexes uh, during the fight. But you can always change it up. You can go 30,000 health and 734 melee. It's much more likely that you won't lose any with 10,000 more health on each one. I didn't lose any until right at the end with the other batch it's a hundred and twenty less melee but it's ten thousand more health that's that's pretty significant or if you if you're looking for some tanks you can go this route and go forty thousand HP 619 melee this would still this would absolutely 
wreck Alpha Broodmother and probably not lose any of, of your Rexes. We're going 40,000, 619, and they had 80 armor, 80 between 80 and 83 armor saddles. Um, and like I said, I lost 9 by using 20,000 HP ones on the Alpha. I, I, I was just trying it out, just to see if I could do it, and with 850 melee, they absolutely murdered her, but she, you know, got almost half of them uh, before I took her down. So there's uh, just a quick video. If anyone has any any questions about um, mutating or breeding in general, uh, just feel free to ask in the comments. Or I'm I'm happy to answer any question. I, I've bred I bred X Rexes on uh, official when they first released and uh, managed to get uh, a complete breed on them. They were absolute monsters. But uh, I'm going to be doing regular Rexes when ASA releases. Not sure what server yet because I have no idea about the servers, but I will be on official. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Any, if uh, I'll leave a video here at the end of me actually taking on that uh, Alpha Brood Mother with the 20,000 HP Rexes for anyone who, that wants to see it. Uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. all right. I'll see you on the next one.